you can do this. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hi, I'm Kay. I'm Roller Coaster Rider. And the stocking fell. Ah. You know, Christmas. Anyway. Happy holidays. Mm hmm. Even though it's late. Here, you want to show them? Yeah, we are going to talk about our holiday in the park experiences. What we liked, what we didn't like. You want to show them this? You can show them yourself. I can't get that close. Yay, the mug. Da, 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 da. Okay, cocoa, so. Coffee. Oof. So, Great America, Gurney, Illinois. For the first time. We got Holiday in the Park. Whoa. And. Um, it was fun. Cold, but fun. Yeah. It wasn't cold every single time, so, and sure. that made it wonderful. Um, and I'm not talking about Florida cold, where cold is to you guys is like 70 degrees. No, we're <laughs> talking about like 40 and 40 and 50 degrees, if not colder. Yeah, some of those nights we did go inside and yeah. <laughs> to warm up, get out of the wind. Now, one thing I do want to say is that, uh, who's the general manager of Park President? Hank Salimi. Um... I think I hope that's how you say his name. I sir, I apologize if that's not how you say your last name. Um, oh, we should introduce ourselves. I'm roller coaster writer. I already said hi. I'm Kay, which they already know. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, Great America got hounded one year because at an event there were like nine questions about if they were going to have holiday in the park, which was just rude. And then the, I think the next year there's only like one question, and I asked it um, a separate time. Uh, is that this year, I think? Yeah, I think I asked it this year if they were going to do Holiday in the Park, and they said no. Or maybe... They were joking. <laughs> it was great! Great America did a great job. Oh, might have been, it might have been last year. It, it, no, it, it was last year. I'm pretty sure. I think. Okay, so. just quit dwelling on it. We got it. It was fun. It was great. No, I want to. I want to talk about the story. So, the first night of Holiday in the Park, I went to Hank Salimi and I said, "Are you guys going to do Holiday in the Park?" And his answer was, "No, we have no plans to do it," <laughs> which I thought was. So that's why I said the story, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah. Okay, you. He was pretty funny about it. Yeah, the sections. It was really, I thought, decorated well. Mm -hmm. They had um, people dressed old-fashioned, in, and then they were Christmas carolers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, that was so cool. The songs were also very different, and oh, my God, the lights. Yes, lots of lights. Lots of lights. And I think lots... everybody was always in just a happy mood. Yeah. I know there's some people out there that might have thought, like, uh... Holiday in the park, will that bring out good people or bad people? It's like, good. no, it just brought out, it brought out nice, happy people. Yeah, it was fun. Everybody that was there was either frostbitten and cold, drinking hot cocoa or coffee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or at the s'mores, roasting marshmallows. Or just standing by the s'mores yeah. fire pit. <laughs> to keep your backside warm. Mm -hmm. Or your front side. <laughs> Now, oh, and one thing that you took advantage of, and this is only one of many. Is um, that Great America, as well as I think all Six Flags parks, are doing something where you can turn in your snack voucher or your, uh, or your, or your or meal thing. Yep. Or your meal thing. And as a result, you can play games. Right. And me being, um, well, as you can tell, not monetized. Um, I don't have the deepest pockets on, on the planet. So, um, I, and I am a diamond elite, so that gives me like 50% extra in games anyway. So we won like five or six toys that we gave. Six stuffed animals. Yeah. yeah. We gave away five to, uh, KD. KD and his, uh. I thought we gave away four. You gave one to, um, that girl. What girl? JJ? Yeah. Uh, maybe. You did. You gave JJ one. Okay. You gave KD um, for his 
his three girls. Yeah. And they said, you're the bestest <laughs> picker outer. But, but get this. It was we Elf on went, a Shelf. We went to Elf on a Shelf. And we thought you had to knock off. All four or five all, elves. On one shelf. And what it was was just knocking one shelf off or one elf off of the knocking shelf. Knocking one shelf, that'd be yeah. impressive. You got you got it you got to pick a stuffed toy. Mm -hmm. And we're like, wow, this this is great. I was supposed to play, but I'm like, you're doing well, just keep going. <laughs> and I think I knocked off like what, five or six or so? Yeah. We did we did go back, however, unfortunately, um, they had, the run, they had run out of like these type of things, so they're, yeah. we, we were just left with poop emoji toys. <laughs> so then, and you I went, still don't get the appeal of that. Then you went to play that other game. It was a little more. Oh yeah, the cat difficult, one. but you did win a very nice stuffed animal for um, Katie's daughter. That another one, yeah, okay. That um, was ill. So and. Uh, Here's a here's a tip if you want to guarantee one. Uh get a friend or a buddy that also has the dining pass or whatever that will play the game with you for like the horse racing thing and then only you two play. So it's yeah. <laughs> or the or we did that too. Or the, it was or, it was the no, reindeer. No, it wasn't it, Santa's it, it wasn't play? it wasn't the it wasn't the water gun thing, it was the oh, roller ball. You had to roll the ball in the holes. Yeah, like like sort of like skeet ball. Uh, yeah, like fascination, California bingo. Yeah, yeah. So I was going against him, and we couldn't tell who won. But one the problem, yeah, the problem, <laughs> the problem is, is that you can't play by yourself. Right. So I was like, so I was like, okay, uh, come over here, sit down and play. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna get a prize. Only problem I have with that is that they don't really have plastic bags, so we were just carrying it. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, someone with a bag phobia on Black Friday, probably. Yeah. Fortunately, one of the stores we went into did have a bag, and I, I made a joke like, I think I drove you guys into bankruptcy again. Oh. <laughs> oh anyway. And when you go okay. into Southwest Territory... They have the light and music show up against the wall of Chabasco. Mm -hmm. And you have to stay for the whole thing. It was, that got it a, was interesting. It got a, oh, Peppermint Swirl. That's what it was called. For what? That's what Chabasco was renamed. Oh. Like how it's Terror Twister 2. No, I just, I already said I know, that. I know. Oh, and there's fun. there's a fun bonus extra with that. With the light show? No, with uh, pepper, peppermint oh, swirl. Oh, yeah, you wrote it, but I didn't. So. Yeah, there's a there's a really uh, there's no there's no cool way to say it. I'm not Hyde. I'm not Drew the Intern. I'm not Ranger. There's a cool twist. What? I know. I'm sorry. I know. Um, on this just, ride, just say it. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the song, but what's cool is that they do. They do, I think it might be Little Drummer Boy or something. Mm. That might be the song. But what's cool is that they they have like bubbles and they also they also put out like, uh, I think the term is Florida Snow, where it's like soap, where it's like soap and suds everywhere oh. to make it seem like you're going through a snowstorm. Oh. And there's also like uh, red and green lights. So it's pretty, it's really fun. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Your father and I were having our backs warmed up by the s'mores. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> let's start. A lot of people gathered there. Let's start with the shows. Let's start with, uh, should we start with Wonderland at the Grand or Looney Tunes Christmas? Well, which one did we see first? Looney, Looney Tunes, Tunes Christmas. Okay, let's start with that. Um, it's a, it's really good and it's really fun and it's pretty funny. Um. They have Feliz Navidad, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> or yeah, well, yeah. But who sings it or performs uh, Speedy it? Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. Um, I would say that this was the Santa Christmas. Like, there's I in the loop said this term like there's Jesus Christmas and Santa Christmas. This one is more of like Santa Christmas. Um, 
and in my opinion, it's the it's the better of the two shows. The only problem. Well, it all depends. I mean, they... the only problem is I feel it's it's it was a little short. Like it could have had one more song, and the other show it but, could have but, taken but, a song from. But the Looney Tunes Christmas. I'm not saying it's bad. No, no. It's just that you know there were a lot of kids. It wasn't as crowded as the other show. Oh my gosh, Wonderland at the Grand. That's going to be the new Love at First Fright. Yeah, that was really crowded, but um. You know, the attention span of little kids and families isn't that long. It was just a fun show. So, yeah, it was. It was fun. And then we saw the other show, Wonderland at the Grand, mm -hmm. where... Uh, it was more old-fashioned Christmas. Yeah, Great America Great America fans are going to love this. The uh, Witchy, I think. Right. And uh, Dracula. Dracula are there. And... Uh, hmm. Who, who, wasn't there one other... I don't know, but I'm trying to think of a polite way to say this. Um, the witch, when she isn't dressed as the witch, she uh, she looks she looks nice. Okay. That is the one where it didn't have as strong of a story as Love at First Fright. Well, it was a lot of like pictures going through time and no stuff. that's that i don't think that's what the plot was i think the plot well, was they had the snow ran, globes. yeah random people shaking snow globes putting it back and then that's it we see a show or we see a song about it a snapshot and you were the first one to tell me that it was the witch and you can kind of tell in retrospect because she made some funny jokes yeah <laughs> they allowed her to do that that was she cool. kind of, i don't know if she mildly ad-libbed or if that was part of I the think script she did ad -lib. Uh, okay like uh like there's a song where or there's a part where she said um ooh another musical number let's sing <laughs> But then, what was that song where it kind of, where it really slows down with the candles? Mm. Oh, light of, um, oh holy night. Maybe. Next time we'll just have to take better notes. It's not. It's it's like a very like. Whose child is this? Is that the song? I don't know. But it was I don't not, remember. I it, enjoyed it. It was because it I wasn't, like Christmas yeah, carols. That one, the song that I'm talking about, it wasn't so much a Christmas song as it was like a religious song, kind of. Oh, the one lady that sang. Yeah, and where they all, where the light went down, and they were all like holding candles. Yeah, I don't. We're remember. very sorry that we don't that I that we don't remember. It's been like three months. <laughs> JJ needs to fix that pipe. Um, then we saw, uh, the, sh oh, that country, we saw holiday hoedown, which that was kind of what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I wanted Wonderland at the Grand to be. Um, I think they still need a little practice. Yeah. Their um, cues weren't that like time. Six Fl great America, please get the writers of that show to do wonderland at the grand because that is that is like that is the that is like love at first fright for me i know but wonderland at the grand was all the beautiful christmas carols and just you know you could just sit there and enjoy i like holiday in the ho I, ugh, holiday ho down so fine. much more and i want you that can go there i want that to be the main show because you know it was fast-paced it was funny it was corny they had jokes they interacted with the audience they did need a bigger spot for that yeah because we um, got there early because somebody told me that you better get a chair or you won't get one mm -hmm. and it was very true it was only standing room only and where was that? That was in Yukon Territory, right next to Mooseburger Lodge. Yeah, it was the stage in Mooseburger Lodge. And one That's thing what nice, I just said. One thing nice about this brochure, it is just manageable to hold and handle. Mm -hmm. And you could just look in and see what food items there are and what they renamed things. And it, do they, you want to? They really did. Do you want? Nice do you want to talk about the tree lighting? Because that's where I had a minor problem. I liked, okay, so when you came into the park and right in front of... Um, the carousel? No, 
you came into the park. Hometown in Square, front, yeah. Hometown Square in front of the music hall. Um, they had a tree. Now, what I thought it was going to be was similar to um, some that Silver Dollar City does. And if I were to guess, uh, Dollywood also does. Where it's like this 20-minute like chasing light show where the bulbs change colors and stuff. And it's like, and it's all set to music. That's what I thought it was going to be. I still thought it was beautiful. So what happened? So it was one color lights. They were clear. No, they did they a countdown, white. didn't they? Oh, yeah. They did a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flip the switch. And on it went. I thought it was very pretty. That's it. There was no music. There was no, like, chasing lights or anything. The colors didn't change. I thought it was very pretty. That's my only problem that I had with it. Maybe, but each area maybe I was had their own Christmas yeah. tree. Oh, uh, one of the oh, lights. <laughs> remember the stables? Oh, the, yeah. The reindeer? That was, that was uh, where the go, that was using the go-karts queue line. Yeah. That was pretty funny. And uh, what I liked in terms of the lights was, there's a section where it's where it's like a river section in Yukon Territory, right by uh, Snowshoe Saloon and uh, Mooseburger Lodge. Mm -hmm. And in that section, the lights there are blue, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. They made it look like there was water still there. Okay. Uh, we didn't do the cookie factory. Um, well, we didn't go into the cookie mm -hmm. factory. Can I say a joke that someone said? Or no? Whatever. As long uh, as it's clean. They said Go Fresh Cafe is now No Fresh Cafe because the only thing in Go Fresh Cafe was Cookie making decorating. sugar cookies. Well, that's still, they're still baking, still fresh. Yeah, but like fresh is, I think you meant fresh and like Like healthy. salads and stuff like yeah. that. Um, s'more stations. Um... Hmm. We saw three. Were there more? I think I saw like Maybe. Southwest Territory, uh, Hometown Square, Yukon Territory. Those are the only ones I remember. Is there? Is there a fourth one? Talk. Okay, so there was Hometown Square. I think that one was the biggest. And then um, the other one was in Southwest Territory. Um, no, just... there's a fourth one. Where? There's a fourth one in front of the food court. There was? Yeah, between 12 and 3. Huh. We made sure that we walked all the way around the park to see all the mm -hmm. different lights. There was a, a tree, like forest, remember that, with all those white lights and that? That was pretty, too. I'll take your word for it. Was it that was. in the front of the park? No. But anyway, there were a few rides open. Um, some of them didn't really get rethemes, which <clears throat> one thing I would like to see next year is one of their coasters, like maybe the Dark Knight or maybe Max Force, get that uh, Santa Slay. Uh, VR technology, which I think would be cool. Even if it was on some like Dark Knight, that would be really cool. Like Dark Knight overlay with holiday mm -hmm. theming. Mm -hmm. Like turn off all the mu turn off all the music and all the lights, and instead just ha or well, I guess you could probably turn on and instead just play holiday music instead in, in that in that ride. That'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. I think we did the. Um... We didn't the do... The Dark Ride, didn't we? Yeah, Justice League. Yeah. Uh, we... Let's see. What else What else is there? Oh, we didn't talk about the s'more stations. Right. You started to say... You get a... So there were four... You yes. get a big uh, marshmallow. Giant-sized marshmallow. And... <laughs> and you get a wooden stick skewer. 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 And... Maybe it's just me, but my eyes apparently are really terrible. And if they're near smoke, like, ugh, like I can't do it. So, um, your eyes start to water. So, so I want to thank the 
the male employee, I can't remember his name, but I did mention him, I guess, relations, that let me borrow his goggles so I could make a s'more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a huge marshmallow. You only got mm -hmm. one marshmallow. Yeah. And then you got two graham crackers and the Hershey's I, chocolate. Yeah, I might like it. I don't know. Maybe next time we should maybe like accidentally bring in some graham crackers and uh, maybe get maybe get um, maybe uh, maybe get a plastic knife and like cut the marshmallow into like two or three pieces. I don't know. Because I can't. But have... that's but that's if we accidentally bring bring in graham crackers. Mm. Is that okay to say? Yeah. Okay. GF graham crackers. Mm-hmm. Uh. So anyway, so you did the that. Now let's talk about some food because they had some unique food. Oh, uh. Unique names for food. <laughs> what do you mean? For food places like the North Pole. Oh, and the um, Dasher's Dinner House. Yeah, Dasher's Diner. Oh, it is Dinner House. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that one, did we? Uh, I think we did Johnny. I did Johnny Rockets. Yeah, we did Claim Jumpers Chicken and whatnot. Um, let's see. What are they? Oh, JB's Barbecue and Sports Bar. When I found out that they had a unique food item that they had tamales, I was like, I'm going to go there. And funny story, uh, when I went there, the empl I was like, can I have tamales? And they were like, we have tamales? <laughs> yep. And I, I didn't have my, I didn't have the Holiday in the Park guide. So I said, hey, so I said to some stranger, hey, can I borrow yours? And they said, sure. So you weren't around. So they said, sure. So I pointed to it and I said, and I said, like, look, there's tamales. And they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty good i really hope great i don't know if i want great america to add them to the dining pass or if i want them to keep it a holiday in the park tradition so i have something mm. to look forward to every year i'm not sure True. which one i wanted which one i'd rather they do and the hot cocoa refill the cup mm -hmm. you get the mug um it was very very good on cool on a cold day yeah it was hot mm-hmm <laughs> Say the That's least. the term. <laughs> yeah. And when Let's you were see. you were waiting in line um to get a refill, um, and I was in where the kids could make ornaments, decorate ornaments. And that right across the way used to be like a store's sweet shop or something. You were at um next to Oh, what was it called? Remember, it was nice and warm in there. Oh, Mary Marketplace the, or something. Is it the Santa, or was it the letters? No. Oh, okay, the Mary Marketplace. Okay, I think I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I went to get a refill of hot cocoa. You stayed in there. Which it was taking a long time. Mm hmm Yeah, they need to have refill stations. So you can get um, some of this stuff. Let's but let's see. Uh, clean jumpers chicken. Um, I was excited when I heard that there was soup, when I found out there was soup in a bread bowl, I was thinking it was going to be like broccoli, broccoli cheddar soup or like, uh, cream of mushroom or clam chowder or, uh, or stuff like that. But then I, or even, I don't know, uh, matzo ball soup or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've ever had it's that. It's called holiday in the park. You have to include everybody. Yes, 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 yes. And then I found out that it was, that it was just a uh, chicken, chicken noodle, noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it might have actually prevented us from getting colds. I don't know. <laughs> and if you're out there, have. and if, and you can, you could have gotten it without uh, bread. You could have gotten it in like, in like a cup. I imagine it'd be like one of the uh, paper cups or plastic cups. Maybe. Um, the Dasher's Dinner House, you did ask about what that meal was. Yeah, it was a it huge meal. It was a classic meal. holiday meal. But it was like a five dollar upcharge in addition to the dining pass. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stayed. I kind of stayed out of it. But didn't they have like mashed potatoes, green beans? They had ma yeah cranberries. I think they had turkey, turkey or chicken. I can't remember. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see what else. Oh, and scope that was over in Southwest. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, let's see what else. There's we did do nachos when because we were like really tired from walking around, mm. and we didn't want to walk all the way to JB's. So Capone's Kitchen, they have something called apple dumplings and apple crumb pizza, and I decided to try them both. Oh, that's um, right. apple crumb pizza. Now I will give the. I will give the disclaimer that it was really late when I went, but the apple crumb pizza was very, very dry. Like, it's, it was one of those things where, like, when you were biting into it, because it was like a regular pizza, when you were biting into it, it actually broke apart. No, I mean, it was, like, very dry, like okay. a very thin crust okay. dried out dry dry thing okay like you could have like hit it and it would have broken <laughs> and then they had the place was crowded though mm -hmm. oh my gosh well it was also sit down and inside so yeah and then they <laughs> had out of the wind and then they but... had apple dumplings which was um a regular apple that had uh oh jeez brown sugar yeah or brown caramel or uh brown sugar on it Um, it was good. I probably wish, I, I probably wish, I, I wish it could have been mashed up instead mm. because it was just pretty much a skinless apple. Mm -hmm. It's like a baked apple. Mm -hmm. Um, but they were trying different things. Yeah. So obviously, cool. obviously this year they, the train was closed for obvious reasons for construction on Max Force. I am hoping next year the train is operational. Oh, and that would be cool and Hometown Square, if it stops there and you have carolers or, mm -hmm. you know. It'll probably stop in County Fair because that section was close. That section was more closed than Hometown Square. But I mean, knock it off, but stop there for carolers or something. And one more thing I would like to see is I would like to see next year um, Hurricane Harbor used. And I know they can't do any rides. But you can install like a walk through around Hurricane Harbor. For the most part, it is in a complete loop. Right, but that's a lot of lights, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's I like mean, what's the problem? It's a lot of lights, and I'm like, yeah, the yeah. lights came on at like what five five thirty or something, mm -hmm. and it just it really just made it very merry and Christmassy and. Very crisp, the weather. I don't know if I mentioned this. I probably did. I have very bad memory. I'm more looking at the time to make sure it's recording. But uh, did I mention <laughs> that instead of like, you know, uh, what's what's the best way I can say it? Uh, Six Flag songs that played throughout the year. Instead, they had holiday songs and stuff. Yeah. Like they had... Uh, I know, I know they, they had Let It Go from Frozen... So, uh, I'm, I'm sure all you Disney fans out there are extremely happy that I said that. I just got that song back in your mind, brain again. Um, wasn't one of the songs like Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time? Mm hmm Uh, what other songs were there? Winter Is Wonderland, there a, maybe? Yeah, Kaleidoscope or something? No. Kaleidoscope? Is that a song? I'm trying to think. It was like, you know, you listen to it and you're just kind of... Woo, ba -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Uh, however, no Muppets 12 Days of Christmas. Boo! <laughs> they might not be able to get that. They can get Frozen? Well, you know. I can get it from YouTube. Or, I mean, I can pay for it. Whatever. Anyway, if you get the opportunity and you're in Gurney, in the area... Go next year. I do. We went. Yeah. We went. What four or five times? Yeah. Now, granted, not all the rides were open. Wizard was closed because it was some like either weather or they were going to start maintenance on it. That's very. That's understandable. Some of the rides, some of the days they closed early and stuff. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Some of the days were snowing, so we didn't even bother about going. Yeah. Um. Yeah, when you're expecting 10 inches of snow and the wind and the cold, yeah. Mm. Oh, there was one more thing I did. Snowflake Lane, which is um, kind of their re-theming of the bumper cars. Um, 
I guess it's a retheming of the bumper cars. <laughs> if it's a retheming, it's a retheme and name only. They didn't change the music. They didn't change the lights. There's like no, no, no difference with it. It was just a rename. That's okay. But that's that's still good. Yeah. I think overall it, mm -hmm. it was fun. I mean, we went and we went and we went and we went. So mm -hmm. some days we got there before three. Some days we got there. I thought they opened at like four or five every day. Was it? I thought they had some shows that were earlier. 4 p.m. Park hours, two to eight. Oh, okay. Two, two to eight, to two to nine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I do the thing right now? What thing? Just say yes. Maybe. Um. <clears throat> I guess that's all for me, guys. Hey. No, no, you, you, this, this is just for me right now. Um, hey, Six Flags, um, if you want, um, a new CEO to replace Jim Reed Anderson, uh, feel free to message me, um, I'll, I'll work for much less than Jim Reed Anderson does because I'm not, I'm, I have nowhere near as much qualification, but, uh, you know, I've, I have, I have ideas. So if you would, so if you would like to, um, I don't know, interview me and let me know if you think that I might even be considered or, or whatnot, uh, please do, uh, send a message to my YouTube or uh six or at six flags uh comment to me on twitter when i post this video on there uh thank you okay anyway um i'm roller coaster rider and i'm Kay. and so we're sorry for we're sorry for getting this up so late um just work work and work in well <sighs> We did like uh, musical chairs on getting sick. First it was me, then it was then it was your father. He's the big guy. Yeah, and then it. Was, or no, he's the, Then it was yeah. me, and then he got it again, and then, and then I got it, the cough, and then I and got then it again, and so we just did musical chairs on who was going to get sick and who was able to stand up and be okay, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Um, Happy holidays. Um, I don't know. Happy, uh, happy insert, uh, March, insert March 10th holiday right here. Unless we forget to post, unless I forget to edit this. Okay. Anyway, bye. Bye now. Subscribe to me and I'll subscribe back.